Okay, let's dive in. We're looking at Svartsengi again today. Right. Specifically, the latest on land rise and uh, potential activity. Exactly. We've got that report from June 3rd, 2025. So our aim here is to really unpack what the experts are saying about the current situation. Yeah, and there's um, an interesting point in there about the likelihood of future events. We'll definitely get to that. First up, though, the basics. What's the report say about the ground itself? Is it still rising? It is, yes. The uplift is continuing in the Svartsengi area. Okay. Which confirms, you know, that magma is still flowing in, accumulating underneath. So no change there fundamentally. Magma is still building up. Right. But um, the report does highlight something important about the speed. Ah, the rate of accumulation. Exactly. While the land is still rising, the rate, the speed of that inflation, well, it's slowed down. Slowed down compared to when? Compared to uh, what we saw back in April and the first part of May, it was much faster then. Okay, so less rapid filling now, but still filling. Got it. So here's that uh, that interesting bit you mentioned. If the rate is slower, you might think the immediate risk goes down. Yeah. You might think so, yeah. It feels intuitive. But the report says something different about the likelihood of, say, a magma flow or an eruption. It does. It states that Despite the slower rate we're seeing right now, yeah. the actual likelihood of a new event, whether it's an eruption or just magma moving closer to the surface, yeah. that likelihood is still considered to be increasing as we look towards the autumn. Okay, wait. Slower filling, but increasing probability later on. How does that work? It's uh, it's about the total amount, not just the current speed. Think of it like um, filling a bucket. Okay. Even if you turn the tap down so it's filling slower, the water level is still rising, right? The bucket's getting full. Right. The total volume increases regardless. Exactly. And it's that cumulative volume, the total amount of magma that's built up, that increases the overall pressure on the rock above. That's what primarily drives the potential for future events. So even a slower trickle keeps adding to the total pressure cooker situation. That's a good way to put it. Now, the report does add a caveat. Which is? That if things changed significantly, like if the accumulation slowed way down or stopped altogether, then yeah, that assessment about increasing likelihood could change. Okay, that makes sense. It's the ongoing buildup that's key right now. Hmm. What about the, uh, the seismic activity, earthquakes? Well, the activity coming from the main magma chamber, deep down under Svartsengi, that's actually continuing to decline. Let's be rumbling them. Yeah. But we are still seeing small, persistent earthquakes. Not many, maybe 10 to 20 a day. And where are those happening? Still yeah. along that known pathway? Yes, they're clustered along the path of that magma tunnel, the one from the April 1st intrusion. Right. And this activity, these small quakes, is also generally decreasing, just like the deeper stuff. And the clusters, where specifically? The report mentions three main areas. Uh, one near Grindavik, sort of at the southern end. Okay. Another patch between Stunnuker and Story Skogfell. No. And then sometimes a few pop up further north, uh, past Kyler. So specific zones along that old pathway are still adjusting, basically. Seems like it, yeah. Little stress is being released. So taking all this in the slower rise, the cumulative pressure idea, the specific earthquake patterns. Mm -hmm. How does this affect the official risk level? Well, the Met Office put out their updated risk assessment on June 3rd, factoring all this in. Then? And uh, the assessment remains unchanged from the previous one. Okay, so status quo on the official risk level for now. How long is that assessment valid? It's valid until June 18th, and that's also when we'd expect the next update, barring any major changes, of course. Right. Okay, let's quickly recap for you listening. The ground at Svartsengi. Uh, still rising. Magma is still coming in. But the rate of that rise has slowed down compared to earlier this spring. Crucially, though, even with that slower rate now, the experts think the likelihood of something happening, eruption, magma flow, is still going up heading into autumn. Because it's about the total amount of magma that's collected, increasing the pressure over time. Seismically, less deep activity, but still around 10, 20 small quakes a day along that April 1st tunnel path. Clustered near Grindavik between Sanuker and Story Skogfell, and sometimes north of Keeler. And that activity is decreasing too. And the official risk assessment, updated June 3rd, remains unchanged and is good until June 18th. That covers the main points, yeah. So here's something for you to think about. We know the rate of magma inflow is slowed. The big question is, what would need to happen next? Maybe a complete stop to the uplift, a totally different earthquake pattern. What change would be significant enough for scientists to say, okay, that increasing likelihood for autumn Maybe that's changing now. Something to keep in mind as we wait for that June 18th update.